Hi everybody, this is the Rabbit Taco bringing you an introduction to GTuner Pro. Um, GTuner Pro is the software that comes along with the Titan 1. It includes your online library. Uh, what this does, it's a user supported portion of the GTuner software. Basically, if you write a script and you feel that it's good enough to share with everybody else, you would publish it and it shows up here in the online library. Um, the top left corner you do have a search ability to search for specific games, let's say uh, Destiny. And what that'll do is it'll limit it down to scripts written specifically for Destiny. Uh, right beneath that you have your categories which you can go to show all which brings you right back to where it was. Uh, different consoles, the PS4, Xbox, PS3, 360, Wiimote, and then different genres. They have shooting, racing, action, sport, fighting, platform, music, flying, and RPG. The main portion of the window is where your scripts are actually going to be located. Uh, you have your script name, who wrote it, and a description if whatever they decide to put into the script it kind of tells you what it's supposed to do. Um, to the right hand side you have uh, user ratings, uh, download. Uh, you can actually see you know, a number of times it's been downloaded. The user ratings tell you what people think about it. Uh, some of them you'll see, you know, like this one has a five thumbs up, one thumbs down. A lot of them don't have very much on the ratings, but it's always good to look at usually, you know, number of downloads. Uh, if it has a high number of downloads, chances are it's a pretty good script. The next tab that you're going to have across the bottom is the, one of the first programming tab. Uh, what this is, it's a visual scripting. It lets you put code together in almost like puzzle piece blocks. We'll have another video coming out shortly that will go much more in depth into this, but uh, just for you know a quick entry, we'll go ahead and throw together a quick rapid fire mod. So what you're going to do is you're going to you know pick your logic and in this case we're going to say if and get PS4 and we'll use R2 since that's usually the fire button on the PS4 and then what we're going to say is if you get PS4 R2 which means if it's being held down we're going to want to run a combo and in this case it's going to be a turbo um, so we'll use PS4 and again we'll use R2 and it has a hold time and a release time. The hold time is how long you're holding the button in for. Release is how long you've let go of it. So if we want to see how this works, you have this little green arrow at the top that says build and run. Uh, if you click that, you'll get this nice little device monitor. In order for this to work in the first place though, you do need to have your device connected. Uh, if you look down in the bottom right left corner, you'll see that my Titan 1 is connected running firmware version 2.38 and I do have my PS4 controller connected as well. The left side of the box here is going to show you all of your input buttons. This is what you're actually pressing on your controller. The left side is going to show you what it is passing along to your console. So in this case we've set it up so that if we hold R2 it's going to turbo press R2. So on the left hand side you're going to see press PS4 R2 plus 89. Uh, my controller is kind of screwed up. It, will, it has a hard time going past 89. But on the right you're going to see R2 blinking very rapidly between 100 and 0. A better way to visualize this is if you click one of these, the box across the bottom is going to actually show you what is going on. So in this case in the red you're going to see all the little ups and downs. All I'm doing is holding R2 but the console is going to see me pressing and releasing it at a very rapid rate. That is the easiest way. Right there you have a rapid fire mod. No code knowledge involved, nothing else. You just put together some puzzle pieces. And like I said, I will do another video going much more in depth that goes over all the IO entries, functions, the logic, math, combos, rapid fires. In kind of explain in depth how each of those works, what they do, and how to read them. The next tab across the bottom is your GPC compiler. Uh, as you can see what I have up right now is I have a 
Dead Island script. I uh, got into Dead Island a little while ago. I used to love it on PS3, got it for PS4. One of the first things I found is it was really useful to have a turbo melee rather than sitting there smashing the RT button to try and melee when the zombies got too close. So I wrote a quick script, said okay, now I have turbo melee. If I wanted to throw the weapon though, it would turbo throw weapons. So I actually have designed this to where it can tell if I'm aiming the weapon for a throw, disable the turbo. I also found that a turbo kick was really useful and an auto loot. Uh, basically the auto loot is just constantly pressing square. So anytime I get any near anything that can be searched or picked up, it just kind of does it for me. This one goes a little more in depth than what you're going to be able to do with GPC blocks. Again, it also requires much more knowledge in programming and the programming language, in this case GPC. The GPC code is really not hard to learn. If you have any knowledge or a background at all in programming, it becomes very easy to pick up on. If you don't, the one of the easiest things I found is you go back here to the GPC blocks, you do something like this rapid fire mod. And if you go up to compiler, you can go to visual to GPC. What that does is it takes your GPC blocks and actually shows you the code that it's generating behind the scenes. You can put together your puzzle pieces. You can have it do visual to GPC, come over here and actually look at what it's doing and really quickly learn to pick up on the code and actually use that to then learn to write much more advanced scripts. Uh, it is a great feature, a great way for if you're breaking into this and you really don't know a lot about coding, this is the way to go. The next tab across the bottom is your programmer tab. This is one of the most important tabs you're going to come across. If you look at the top left corner, you're going to see compiler scripts. Uh, visual scripting, Dead Island, my personal, and visual to GPC. This is actually loaded up by anything that is open in the GPC compiler tab. It will add all your scripts here. If you have a script that you just want to load on, drag it over, drop it in the slot, you're good to go. That's it. It's really that easy. Top right corner you're going to see the game packs. This is where a lot of people really come into loving the Titan 1. As soon as you get your Titan 1, you plug it in, you connect your device, game packs load up. The difference between a game pack and a script, there really isn't one. These are just pre-done. They're a little bit more advanced, specific to a certain game, and just as easy to load. So if I want to look at, uh, let's see, what's a good one here? Battlefield. So we look at um, Battlefield Hardline. All I would do is drag it over here into any number, and as soon as it's there, it's going to pop up this little configuration box. This is really one of the only differences between a script in a game pack. The game packs have these little configuration boxes. What you can do then is you just drop the, this one down and let's say I want optimized rapid fire. And then I can go down, okay, so I have optimized rapid fire, scope mode, eh, quick scope, auto hold my breath when I scope in, auto spot, why not, easy sprint, and we'll go with press sensitivity, anti-recoil, wonderful thing. It is so nice to be able to have this in some of these games. You can set the parameter. The parameter is how hard it draws against the recoil. So, yeah, you might have to play with it a little bit to figure it out. But you have your button layouts. If you don't like playing with the default buttons, this has got all the pre modified selections that you can do in the game. You want this to match up or else the script's going to act kind of really weird for you because it's actually mapping the buttons to the, the com combo that it's running. Um, I just play with default. Bunny hop. So you can just start hopping around. Makes it really hard to hit you. And auto fire or flashlight. So now you just click close, it saves all that for you, and the most important thing, program your device. 
what that does just opens up this little byte bytecode storage wizard and it'll tell you exactly what it's going to put on there so you have a total of six mods going on slots one two three four five and seven doesn't matter that I don't have anything in six it will just ignore slot six uh, you don't have to have them in any particular order they don't have to be in any specific slot you just gotta remember where it is so that when you plug it into your console you know which slot to go to there's a little button at the back end of the Titan one where your controller connects you just push that pick your slot once you get there you're good to go so now all I do is hit OK give it a few seconds already done at this point you can unplug it from your PC go over plug it in your console plug your controller in and now you have a modded controller the beauty of it is though is that if your controller breaks the Titan one hasn't plug any controller in it becomes a modded controller you're not spending all this money for a modded controller that if it breaks you're now out of luck another feature of the Titan one that is really nice is the cross-platform capabilities um, if I open up like my device tuner and it is set to one where obviously I have a pushing square I can actually look go here and then check my output so let's say I want to use a PS4 controller but I want to use it on an Xbox 360 what I see here is again on this side all my inputs the outputs on this side are the Xbox outputs so if I want to press cross or X on the PlayStation controller I can see that that actually maps over to being the A button on an Xbox 360 controller same with if I push triangle it becomes Y so you can actually see where using your different controllers and you can see what the outputs gonna be if you look at the, the code uh, I've seen this come up a lot in the forums everything else like my script here you'll see a lot of PS4 up, PS4 left, PS4 right, uh, PS4 L2 those are just placeholders uh, if you're going through the online library and you see a script that contains a lot of it appears to be you know XB1 or XB360 and you want to know if it works on your PlayStation yes it will it just makes it easier for when we're writing the scripts to use something like PS4 write it just makes more sense in our mind but really it maps out as you saw in the device monitor as soon as I press cross it would be a on the Xbox controller the scripts are universal they will work across there are a few exceptions if you do come across a script that you know uses PS4 touch obviously that's not going to work on the PS3 because the PS3 doesn't have a touch uh, neither does the Xbox so there are certain limitations to that but in the most cases it's just going to be a universal script that's going to work across the board across the top I mean you, you have your normal file open close save save all and exit uh, your edit menu view online library visual scripting GPC compiler it's great out because that's what we're on right now but that lets you just change between the tabs a little bit easier from up here uh, compiler you have your visual to GPC uh, compile that lets you compile your script make sure there's no errors in it build and run kind of lets you preview it publish script that is how you would get your personal script into the GPC library that opens it up for everybody else to use also program device uh, you can actually have it plugged into your console and plugged into your computer at the same time change your script on the fly if it's not working make some minor adjustments program device without unplugging it from your console without unplugging your controller and messing with anything next thing you know you have your updated script right there and you can change it in real time great tool uh, device monitor we went over that uh, DS3 6 axis pairing, uh, device cleanup. Device cleanup really basically reloads your device to the state it was in when you received it. GTuner update and firmware update do exactly what they say. If you have your device plugged in, you run firmware update, it's going to go out to the server. Obviously, mine is at 2.38, newest versions 2.38. Don't need an update at this time. 
the plugins I will do some other videos going over the plugins but really quick um, combo magic it is a great thing if you have your computer plugged in while it's running on the console you run combo magic and what that does is it records all your button presses everything else uh, quick example here start capture so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to hit triangle circle cross square so as soon as I hit stop capture there you have it you have a combo that you can actually just copy straight out of here it does the coding for you paste it into a script it has come in really useful for some of those games where you're not sure what the timing is so you know you can do the move once have combo magic record it and replay it over and over uh, some of the other plugins uh, max room mapper is really great if you're using a third-party steering wheel or something else you can remap your input buttons to match what's on your steering wheel or your other controller from another system max MDI uh, one of the great things people love about the Titan one keyboard and mouse support across all systems max MDI is what you use to remap your keyboard inputs to what the console will see then as being the controller. Uh, like I said, we'll go over that in other videos. The user manual, uh, GTuner instructions, and GPC language reference. I can't speak highly enough of those. The GPC language reference is absolutely wonderful. Now, uh, if you're kind of stuck in a script or you're looking at a, somebody else's script and you're going, okay, I have absolutely no idea what this command is you should be able to find it relatively easily using the GPC language reference. Uh, look it up in there. The, he's done a wonderful job in explaining how everything works. The online community. I can't speak kindly enough of the Titan one, the console tuners, online community. The forums are amazing. The moderators on there are absolutely wonderful. Jefferson Cope, you will see his name down here, copyrighted to him, console tuner. Wonderful person. He has done all the firmware work. He has designed the entire hardware system. He has done most of these game packs. If you go to the forums, you will see that he responds to almost everybody as quickly as possible. He helps people out with writing custom scripts on top of all the other hard work that he has put into this. Guys, the support on this system, beyond belief. I've never seen anything like it. Uh, I, I can't speak highly enough of the Titan 1, the software, the community. If you put it all together, it, it literally it will beat out any controller mod that you could buy. Uh, I suggest you highly give it highly suggest you give it a chance. If you have any questions, comments, or anything else, leave them in the comments below. I will have links to the download for the GTuner Pro software, uh, the console tuner forums, a uh, the um, retailer extrememods.com at its why I ordered mine. I've had it about three months barely play a game now without having it plugged in wonderful people shipped it really fast never had an issue with it uh, if uh, I just ask you know if you find this video useful please hit like uh, subscribe to my channel I plan on doing a lot more videos going much more in depth into some of the G Tuner Pro software. Uh, there are going to be videos featuring the game packs and some gameplay so that you can see what they look like when they're actually being used. Um, subscribe, like, leave any questions, comments below. Hope you all have a good day.